Hello, my beautiful Hershey Kisses. Now, we can think back in biblical times when there were people who were demonized or demonic, how they were walking the earth, but yet we had Jesus Christ who was here to withdraw, take away demons, you know, from people. I'm looking at this female, and this is what happened to her. This is in Detroit, Mich 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 Michigan. Michigan, excuse me. Tongue twister. Anyway, this is what happened to her, even though there were, this is supposed to be a, a police, um, a store where there are police officers supposedly watching. But anyway, let me share Did this you know with you. Yeah, I just cry so hard. I miss my face so much. Like, it takes a lot for me to even come on here. Um, I am jacked up, but <sighs> I have to go talk to this detective in about 30 minutes and, um, make a statement, which I already made a police report at the hospital. And, um, I'm not sure what they need me for, but I have to go talk to a detective. Um, I am definitely pressing charges. Right. I'm not sure if they have them in custody or not, but, um, I think that they have the video um, because the store is a green light store. Okay. So I believe they do. And word around town, I guess this guy had done this to another female before. So um, everything's going to come to the light. And um, I will for sure keep you all updated. But I love you and thank you so much. I can't believe this now, sis. This is crazy. This is some stranger, some random dude who... He has done this before, and instead of them locking him up and throwing away the key, they kill me with all of this rehabilitation, rehab. You know, this is just ridiculous, because I recall in biblical times, let me show you what used to happen um, in biblical times, what the things that people were stoned to death, because I did my research this morning, because I was curious, like, what were some of the things that people used to get stoned to death for? Okay, so you can see here, I'm always doing research on something. You see? That's what I was looking up. And I always like to use artificial intelligence. Awesome. Now, in biblical times, people were stoned to death for committing idolatry and blasphemy. You can find that at Leviticus chapter 20, verse 2, Leviticus chapter 24, verse 10 through 16. People were stoned to death for breaking the Sabbath, Numbers chapter 15, verse 32 through 36. People were stoned to death for adultery and sexual immorality, having sex with people that you're not married to homosexuality, and you can find that at Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 22 through 24, and Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. False prophets going around making false prophecies. They were stoned to death. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 1 through 5, and also Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 20. Now, this is the one that I like, and I wish they would bring it back. Rebellion against parents. Oh, yes. Go ahead and dishonor your parents if you want to. Rebellion against parents. They were stoned to death. Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 18 through 21. And people were also stoned to death, as noted, in Genesis chapter 9, verse 5 and 6. Exodus chapter 21, verse 12 through 14. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 9 through 10. Numbers chapter 35, verse 16 through 21. And that was for murder. Anytime you murdered someone, your life was taken as well. Also, when it comes to, you saw that girl's eye? You saw how she was assaulted? Assault or harming other people. You were stoned to death. Ezekiel, I mean... Exodus chapter 21, verse 18 through 25, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 15 and 16, 
and Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 23 through 27. Now, if we had these biblical rules in place today, do you think we would have someone walking around looking beat up and as brutal as assaulted and beat up and um, <clears throat> the way you saw this woman? No. Okay? In these cases, stoning was seen, stoning people to death at that time, it was seen as justice. Executing justice. However, we have to keep in mind, you know, that Jesus Christ, we, we, you know, this was all, if you notice, this was in the Old Testament. But when the New Testament came about, we are taught to be merciful and forgiving and loving and all the above, you know. Um, and right now, these days, we're all about rehabilitation and putting people in jail. Oh, how I wish biblical times will come back again because... All of this rehab and all of this, uh, 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 put, no, no, you got people who are crazy. Don't take their medication. They're freaking out all on people, you know, I, and I understand that there's mental illness that is, it, it's here because of due to imperfection, but why should innocent people mentally and emotionally healthy people keep suffering with all of this craziness? They need to lock them up and get them away from us. Because of the way society has developed different approaches to justice and punishment, this is what we suffer with. So much, like, it takes a lot for me to even come on here. Um, I am jacked up, but <sighs> I have to go talk to this detective in about 30 minutes and um, make a statement, which I already made a uh, police report at the hospital and uh... now let me read some of the comments here this is the work of a coward some people are saying so sorry for you stay strong sister you're still beautiful yes you are lady and I'm so happy that you survived it and then another one says oh my god a stranger did this to you my prayers and quick healing goes out to you no one is safe anymore People have lost their damn mind. Prayers for fast healing. People are praying for her. Okay. Another person is saying exactly the way I feel. Literal demons are walking on this earth. Prayers. I'm so sorry. Another one says it's ridiculous that the detective can't come to you. And she says that's why my mom, that's what my mom said. But I guess they want to record me there or something. Whatever. The Another person says, uh, Nora, she says, press charges to the max. Press charges. Well, what good is it? Let me tell you what they do these days. They give you a little slap on the hand. Oh, he gets a year. And then you only have to do like a fraction of that. And then they're right back out there. But if we handle things the way the Bible used to handle it, biblically, we wouldn't have to worry about that anymore. But this is what happens when everybody seems to know more than God and Jesus Christ. Stuff like this happens. We're sitting around here rehabilitating um, people. I'm not sure what they need me for, but I have to go talk to a detective. Um, I am definitely pressing charges. Good. I'm not sure. If they okay, y'all. Even though that's going to be a slap on the hand. Trust and believe. Anyway, twinkle, twinkle. Be careful out there, ladies. Carry your pepper spray. Carry your little hammer or whatever you have to. If you could be licensed to carry, do so. So when they raise up on you, lay them down. Put them to rest. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.